Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are building a desert base nestled between the unnamed city and Sepameru. This area is a nice flat valley and is perfect for larger builds. This video was requested by Corey Francois on my Yamatai Sanctuary build video. We've spoken a lot on Discord about various ideas and designs, and we've settled on a design he's happy with. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly of course we're going to start with the base plate. I'm building this out of Aqualonium foundations, though you can build it from whatever materials you like. I later actually did end up replacing the Aqualonium foundations on the ground level with stone, but for now I built up a 14 by 33 platform two tiles high, excluding the interior of the back section where the pyramid will sit. The area of the entire pyramid is 14 by 14 you can see the blueprint layout in the bottom left corner of your screen right now. After the initial base plate, I then built a single foundation wall two tiles high around the entire build. I then built the foundations for the four structures inside the walls, with structures 1 and 2 being 5x4 with a stair set on the bottom left and right corners respectively. Structures 3 and 4 are 7x4 with a staircase on the back right and left corners respectively again. Next, to build structures 1 and 2, the storage warehouses. I used Aquilonian walls, door frames and frames to build up the walls two tiles high, creating a right angle staircase in the back left of the build and putting ceilings on top of the ground floor walls. I then put walls around the first floor one tile high, placing a doorway facing the other storage warehouse at the top of the stairs. I placed slope sides and walls down to mount the roof onto, creating a peaked apex roof. I did the same over the small 2x1 area at the front of the build, separating this area on the floor itself into 1x1 one one tiles divided by doorways for secure storage. I again created a peaked apex roof over this section, this same design will be mirrored onto structure 2. Now for structure 3 and 4. I used the same materials to build up the ground floor two tiles high, though I would later change the placement of the front door and the frame. I used right angle stairs again, this time to run against the front wall of the build to create a slope of some sorts above the door. I did this both to save room on the first floor and also make the frontage designs a little bit more interesting. I then covered the top of the ground floor walls with ceilings and built a simple peaked apex roof closing off the build. The same design will be mirrored for the other structure. Thank you. 
Now for the pyramid. I wanted the pyramid to be a temple to Derketo, so I used Terranian foundations to map out the interior area I wanted the shrine to reside in. After placing down the entranceway stairs, I then started to build the pyramid itself. This is pretty easy, using foundations to mount ramps onto, along with ramp corners at each, of course, corner. Whilst placing down the ramps, I then decided to extend the Aquilonian wall that surrounds the build around the entire pyramid, giving it a little bit more protection. To continue the pyramid structure, I had to use some walls and slope sides inside the shrine room to make everything sit flush. I then used ceilings to create a ceiling above the shrine, which I could then use to continue to build the pyramid structure, eventually finishing it off with four corners right at the top to create the iconic pyramid point. Next I covered the entirety of the walls with fences and created staircases inside the walls to access them from the ground, then adding internal fences to the walls. Next, this was when I decided to change the Aquilonian foundations on the ground to stone. I felt stone would work a lot better in making the build feel a little bit more natural and a little bit more almost street like, as there was just a bit too much Aquilonian going on. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. The build is lit with Aquilonian wall and hanging torches. Going up the stairs, there is a straight path to the shrine, easily identifiable by its gold light radiating from the pyramid itself. First stop, the residence. This is where the clan members can sleep, eat, etc, and it's also where the kitchen is located. The ground floor is a fairly compact kitchen and dining room combo manned by a cooking thrall. Heading upstairs to the bedrooms, this is a fairly unique design that I personally like, but it could easily be changed if you're not a fan. Each bed is separated with folding screens, providing some privacy to each clan member. There is also some small storage available up here for personal items, clothing, etc. Next for the workshop. This is where everything is produced, processed and repaired for the clan base. This room has many different stations, all providing valuable services.
Upstairs are the smaller Wheels of Pain where thralls can be broken to serve in the workshop downstairs or to guard the walls. If you wanted one of the bigger uh, Wheels of Pain, there is ample room outside the front, the sides and the back of the base itself. So, you know, there's plenty of room to work with if you need something bigger. Heading up the stairs behind the residence, we can access the walls easily, providing a great view all around the base and the surrounding valley. The staircase is also mirrored on the other side, so you can access it behind the workshop as well. Next for the storage warehouses. Heading into the left side warehouse, this build contains of course many storage facilities throughout the two floors with plenty of room for all sorts of goods. More valuable items are locked away inside the secure storage on the second floor. Heading through the doorway at the top of the stairs and across the bridge, we can reach the other storage warehouse, which again offers plenty of storage on both floors. Finally, the pyramid. This imposing structure serves as our temple to Daketo. Daketo is the god of death, fertility and lust, encouraging indulgence in forbidden pleasures. Thus, dancers felt like a good fit for this shrine, endlessly dancing for the pleasure of others. This shrine is lit with hanging Turanian lamps which give a nice moody light to the room itself. And there we have it, a desert clan base in the valley between the unnamed city and Sepameru. Thanks for watching, this was one of the long standing viewer suggestions I had and I'm glad it's now built. I enjoyed creating it so thanks for the suggestion Corey and I do hope you enjoy it. If you have enjoyed the video leave a like and let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future builds, I love doing viewer requests so they're always welcome. Don't forget to join the fun on our discord through the link in the description and check out the channel whilst you're there. There are plenty more Conan Exiles builds coming, so if you like what you see, subscribe and turn on post notifications to be the first to see the next video, and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.